never give up and never give in some of the famous words that a lot of people have never listened to how's it going hey i'm mr spirit and i want to talk to you about never giving up in your matches or in anything that you really do unless you really should give it up like drugs or alcoholism that stuff you should give up but we're talking video games here uh, maybe something like a band stuff that you enjoy that is something that's good for a hobby like me for youtube i never give up i may take a break but i do come back and i don't give up on it because at some point i will strike it big and <laughs> once i figure out that formula then all will be good so let's start off with what's going on for this video this whole video is around that we played in Barn Blitz and things started going wrong for us. But the one thing that stuck through my mind is I'm going to make this win. I will make this a win for us. I don't care if it's who I am or if my other teammates suck. I'm going to play off of what I know is going on on the battlefield. I know we don't have a medic. So I got to play a bit more passive. I'm playing a demo man so I can use my explosives to get corners and angles that the rest of my team can't get at. And I know this is payload so I know the objective being the cart is the most important area. However, I do need to remember that I have no communication so I need to watch flank areas and other areas where teammates can come flowing in from. So I'm paying attention to everything. And once I start doing that, that's when the never give up starts coming in. I, I don't want to give in and I don't want to give up on these teammates or winning this match. So what mentality goes through my mind at this point was, okay, I'm going to make the best of the worst. And whatever it is, whatever the outcome, I shall accept it, and I will take it like a man. So, I, I'm trying to stay optimistic the whole time. I don't know how it's going to turn out in the end from start to finish. I was thrown in here. I had a few people call me out in chat. Oh, hey, we got Mr. Spirit here. So... All of a sudden, I went through my mind, okay, one was a teammate, a few were the other team. I know I'm going to have some focus fire on me, so I got to make the best of that. I got to pay attention to all these things. So my head is hurting with all this information, just trying to figure out how I should go about everything. And it eventually does click to the point of, okay... I'm doing this, and we're not giving up. I don't care who these people are or what they think. I am not giving up. And that it's just as easy as that, is thinking positive. If you can think positive, you can do it. You can do anything, whether it be learning an instrument, playing various games there's just so much that you can learn to do by never giving up practicing and pushing yourself if you can push those limits and look past the negativity i know i've been negative in the past and i'm not going to lie yes everyone has those points of negativity where they believe it'd be better just if they give up and never try again and if all you do is never get up and ride that bicycle again or do whatever it takes without skipping corners to master something or perfect a skill, uh, let's see, I wanted to be a chef. I wanted to be a chef. You know what? I never got to culinary school. Why? My grades weren't good enough. So I went and I got a degree as a web and graphic designer. And you know what? I still cook. 
I still cook delicious meals that the culinary probably never has done. One of my favorite dishes to make, southern fried chicken parmesan, four cheese, and with a marinara sauce. It's delicious. It really is. And I use southern fried popcorn style chicken. Not from KFC. I, I do some other stuff for it. But it's delicious. And you know what? I, I've made other dishes too. Uh, teri different teriyaki stir fries. I've made a lot of different stir fries too. Not just chicken and beef. I've done shrimp stir fry. I've done Thai stir fry. I've done different taco recipes. And you know what? I never gave up on my goal of being good at cooking. I still cook for fun. It's still good. And family and friends love it too. And you know what? It, it's one of those things that I'm never going to give up. Uh, I gave up on music. Yes, I could play piano, bass, and guitar. But living situations and cost of stuff and that that's what got me on that one. So I had to give that one up. I didn't want to give up a whole lot of them. But school and that definitely came first. And, well, schooling was definitely necessary. You can't give that up. Uh, I would definitely at least go for a college degree. You don't have to go for the fanciest one. Go for something you like. Don't let people determine what you should and shouldn't do. And you definitely shouldn't let them discourage you. But know when there's a time and place as well. So if the time and place says... I should play this class in this game. Maybe you should do it. But if like th nothing's going to go wrong because of it, then it's okay. You just know that things can get pretty bad. But if you push through and you never give up on those goals, you will get better. Things will become better. And you won't have to worry about it as much. So if you practice and put your effort in and never give up on those goals, you will make it. And when it came to TF2, you know how hard it was to learn to play this game on a controller back on the PS3? It was very hard. And then people found out how to break the game, but then making that transition wasn't as easy as I thought it would be because I switched from a mouse to a mouse and a keyboard from a controller, which was the biggest change. And I had to get used to a sensitivity and, oh, I have to do this combination to do sticky jumping, rocket jumping and all that. There was a whole lot that I had to learn and I wanted to give up at points. I really did. But the one thing that really kept me going was that I was going to play competitive. I wanted to be a competitive player. I really don't have much time for that now. But being a competitive player made me feel better. Getting that experience of, hey, this is what the bigger boys are playing. I want to give it a try. If it doesn't work out as it should... That's okay. I can take that loss and try again. And <laughs> I may get to it. I don't know. I'm still polishing skills on different classes and figuring out what suits my absolute playstyle. Like, I can't sit and play one class for weeks and months on end without wanting to tear my hair out. So... What I do is I each week I try and play something different or each match. It just depends on how the day is going. Maybe I'm having a bad day as hit scan and explosives are my way or vice versa. Explosives are going terrible so my hit scan aim is hitting everything. It's one of those things that it, it's a mentality. If you let it into your mind, it will beat you. If you don't, you can beat it and you can overcome many obstacles when you die in the game what's the most common thing you think i got outplayed i got outskilled i got outclassed 
those are pretty poor excuses. If it was a random crit, yeah, random crits are a little bit BS. Like, it doesn't teach much skill. It just teaches a factor of luck. And if luck is playing into a lot of it for that one kill, that's pretty bad. But if it's playing in for, oh, I got lucky by pre-firing my shot because I thought someone may come around the corner and I hit you, okay. That, that's somewhat luck, somewhat prediction, which is needed in a fast-paced game, is you need a bit of prediction. But if you based everything solely on luck, you're not going to do much for the game. But this whole situation came down to that mentality of, I'm going to do this as best as I can. Luck be damned. And while well, luck did get me a few times... I also got luck back, so it was a big 50-50 chance for me, and I really wanted to show that I could do this stuff without a medic, and push my team to the win, and it was a long, long match, like we fought on last year for so long, but that that's the thing, is we finally clicked. We started thinking things through. We had very little communication. But what really came down to it was, were we willing to give up or not? And we weren't. We were going for that win. We didn't care what loadouts we had to use. We wanted to show that we had what it took to do those things. And since... We wanted to win. We went for it. <laughs> we ditched all prejudice aside about each other. And we tried to do everything as best as we could. And it's crazy. But it does work. And I do suggest that you try it too. That don't give in. Go in with an absolute positive mentality of... I'm not carrying my team. I'm working with the team for the team and we're going to decimate their team now if they have some higher skilled players don't go and panic and think it's a loss if you think it's a loss you've already lost if you're willing to at least adapt to the situation you may learn a lot more than you would have expected and if you learn you're going to grow better as a player and with that, you'll do a lot better come the next match and the next match and further on as you face harder and harder opponents. And that's how competitive it was. Like one week you may stomp a team and the next week you get hit in the face with that boot and it goes, wow, that's an eye opener. I really need to sit down and review myself a bit more. Like, what did I do wrong? What did I do better? Where did I go and mess something up? And where was the biggest mistake that we made as a team? Because it's not just you. It's a whole team that's doing this. And if the whole team messed up somewhere, then you all need to admit to it. We did bad. What did we do wrong? What can we improve? And if your whole team doesn't give up and keeps pushing, you'll do amazing. I've been on so many teams that have given up. I've only been on one team that never did give up, and they've moved on without me because I had to stop playing. But still being able to talk to them and seeing that they've moved on and kept going and haven't given up at the game and have improved their skills greatly and diversified them too so they can do more roles and all that it's glad i am glad it's amazing that they've done this and it's one team i give the most respect to i've had teams that quit after the first game just oh we got stomp we're not ready for this done and it's like we lost because we're not reviewing what we should have. We didn't review the map. We didn't go back over what we did wrong with the communications and all that. And sometimes it's some of the simplest things that you need to look back on and go, that's what went wrong. 
So never give up. Just never give up. If you put your heart and soul into it and practice, practice, practice. I know it sounds cheesy, but those are the absolute best things that you can do. And if you don't do them, it's really going to affect you. So everyone should practice and never give in. And this is what it does. It pays off at these critical moments. All it took was just a little bit of distraction and the team to lose focus. They gave up at the very end and forgot about the cart. So I'll see you guys next time.